uh, tomorrow's race. Well, everybody's going to be hurting. And you know, look, uh, you know, it's going to hurt. And everybody matters, and that's all that matters. Couldn't have said it better myself, really. My house in Budapest, my, my hidden treasure chest. Golden grand piano, my beauty focus, EOU. Ooh, you. We are at State College, Classic Penn State. Staying at that classic hotel we always stay at, and uh, there's a meet tomorrow for cross country. We have, I think, six of our finest runners competing. I'm not going to be racing, I'm going to be working out with some of the other guys, so we will not be able to get my workout, but I'm definitely going to film some of the race. And um, I'll walk you through just like what we do the day before race, the night before, obviously, like what we're doing. We're going to get dinner right now. Okay, so Nick, where am I? He's become a Caesar salad guy. You know, with maturity comes class, and um, that's why we're eating at a classy place for dinner. Unlimited sides. Yeah, Collins, Carsoni also with that meal. Calorie restriction. Jack with a um, very classy meal as always. You're not eating pasta, <laughs> you're a peasant. He's trying to find McClanahan's, a local grocery store, but he can't find it. Literally, I found it. See? It's right there. Alright, whatever. Let's check. We're here. We're going that way. That Seven way. minute walk. You're going yeah. the wrong way. Obviously, they uh, went the wrong way from the planet hands, so here they come now. Say that again. Nick fact checked it. It's two McClanahan's. I'm sorry, it's false advertising. Is, what is this? Is, is he painting me on this? No. I'm indignant as a consumer at this point. I was like, Goose, we're going to a different McClanahan's that's clearly out of the way. And he's like, ah, yeah, you are right. Yeah, no, he's, he's right. But. <laughs> All right, so Nick and I are just shopping around, seeing what the boys are up to. McClanahan's, great for just everyday products, so too, as well. Very nice. Oh, that's what I was looking for. This smart yeah, that works good. J Bell just over here. Hey Bell, what are you doing over here, my guy? What are you looking at? Oh, dang, that's messed up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's uh, eight in the morning. Just the, the workout crew for today. Um, just shaking out, a little pre-race simulation. Just get used to that type of stuff. So, ten minutes shake out, then breakfast, then we're gonna chill in the hotel all day. Weather in in Pennsylvania. 15 times, so maybe 100 times better than DC. DC's weather is disgusting right now. This feels so nice. Uh, you can actually breathe down here for once. Exactly. It's so hard to breathe in DC, but it feels great here. All right, this seems to be a bit of a tradition these days. Just me talking to the camera with Booth in the background. Got a little pre-workout coffee. Um, I'm only showing you this kind of boring, lame sh stuff because trying to get you guys used to knowing the routine because I don't want to have to do this before every race from here on out like show you what I'm doing so this is what we're doing get our coffee we get our little snack for me it's a bagel for booth it's a uh, what a cliff bar or something cliff bar and a bagel exactly so uh, yeah we just do that and then this will be the last spiel all right here's Ty he's racing today uh, he's racing at 6 p.m. right now it's about 12 so uh, he just shook out so like give the viewers some inspirational thoughts on what you should be thinking this point in the day before you race well at this point in the day just finish the shake out I always go through my shake out looking for two things a little bit of a, an adrenaline rush and a little bit of testosterone boost. he's pissed me off by taking my granola so I'm gonna kick his ass a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> for a testosterone boost and a little adrenaline by almost getting hit by a car here in Penn State and now he's icing his butt on the AC unit it's not on <laughs> you're such a fucking hoe I love it all right we're going to work out right now me Nick Matt Jack Quinn's working out as well a lot of the freshman guys are working oh all the freshman guys are working out um but yeah and I'm not gonna get any footage of that but we'll try to get footage of the race all right guys um little post-workout analysis we did five to six mile fartlek of 90 30 on the course uh here's the strava of it right up here average pretty fast maybe 5 12 to 13 um my my chest has been a bit sore so it didn't feel great but as a team we look great so uh very very exciting stuff booth looking good nick looking good dirty dirty Sorry. room disgusting applesauce Dis this is applesauce good. Is delicious. you shouldn't eat it with this though it's Pretty sure rat, there's rat shit on the top of this, honestly. But fuck you, you know, I don't... 
a little behind the scenes of uh, what a hotel room looks like before people race and when we're all <laughs> stuck in the same room. Kind of sucks. Right before the race, tense, tense environment. The guys are over there with Coach Bonzi, getting their pre-race talk. Um, we're just here about the start line, giving our support for the Hoyas. Joe just in the cart with his boyfriend. Kenny a little jealous that he didn't get to be in the cart with him. <laughs> Brennan also a bit salty, but not much you can do about that. Eyes up, work it, work it. Eyes up, drive your legs, come on. <laughs> 